there's a creature that has a tongue longer than its own body. It eats over 70 million insects per year. It's a mammal, but it's got scales like a fish. It's also the most illegally traded mammal on the planet. These are pangolins, and they really are the only scaly mammals in the world. These ones have just had a very lucky escape. Thanks to this brilliant man called Tai. He runs a place called Save Vietnam's Wildlife. There aren't many animal rescue centers in Vietnam, so it's really important. And at the moment, pangolins are their biggest problem. Pangolin is uh, really a scaly anteater. So they're a mammal, they're warm-blooded like we are, uh, despite being covered in scales. They're also critically endangered. Thousands of pangolins are being taken out of the forests. We really don't know an exact number, but they are widely understood to be the most trafficked animal in the world. Most trafficked means most illegally snared, stolen from the forest and killed for money. The world's only scaly mammal, so endangered that it's worth more to some humans dead than alive. One of the most uh, devastating things I've seen is animals come in and they've had their stomachs pumped full of, uh, it's like a gruel that's a mixture of cornmeal and water and that's designed to make them heavier because um, they're sold by weight. So by being heavier, they attract a higher price. So, after they're pumped full of porridge, then eaten as a delicacy, the scales of the world's only scaly mammal are sold to the medicine shops. But they're only made of keratin, like hair or fingernails, with no proven medicinal benefits. It's the same scam as rhino horn, sold to people who are sick and desperate and willing to try anything. Back at the rescue centre, the pangolins are ready for freedom. We have uh, 35 pangolins here at the moment that we're about to release into Captain National Park and it will be quite a, a huge event. It's 1700 kilometres between here and their destination and it's taken weeks of organisation. They'll need a good feed before they go then. Pangolins eat ants in the wild, so the next best thing they can do at the rescue centre is frozen ant eggs, and they seem to like them. Three of the 35 individuals that we're releasing have been fitted with radio transmitters for tracking post-release. That will help us uh, to determine how these guys use their habitat, where they move to. Um, it will also inform us for future releases, how we might be able to do things better, uh, just to ensure that we release these guys and it's successful. After a lot of packing, it's 3 a.m. and they're off. Pangolins are quite tough, and with regular stops for temperature checks and fresh water, they all survive the epic journey. They've arrived, but they can't be released straight away. They need one more feed to get their strength up. And as pangolins are nocturnal, their incredible smell is stronger than their sight and hearing, they need to wait until nightfall for their freedom. After a huge operation, Tai has got 35 pangolins back in the forest where they belong. In the forest, not the restaurants or the medicine shops. Let's help people like Tai and Heidi keep them that way. Very 
Even while they're struggling away in the jungle, most people back here have never even heard of a pangolin. So if you want to help, you can spread the word. Tell people about them. Share the link. Use your Facebook and your Twitter. Knowledge is power. It makes a difference. It's only people who can change things for the pangolins, and that can start with you.